GLD-80 has 48 input channels all equipped with processing which is based on the iLive console. To access this processing, simply select a channel using the green key above the fader. The settings for the processing are then displayed across the channel strip section at the top of the console and also on the touchscreen if no other menu is engaged. Let's select channel 5. Current settings are displayed on the LEDs on the strip and the screen displays the channel number and name. The overview tab shows all the processing section in thumbnails. Edit the settings in the channel by using the knobs and buttons in the channel strip. You can see the resulting signal flow in the channel on the meters in each section. You can see details full screen by either touching a thumbnail or its tab along the top of the screen. Touching the cell key will also bring up the processing section full screen too. Each section has an in-out key which illuminates when the processing is in circuit, so you can make adjustments using the controls or screen before engaging that section. One really neat feature is you can hear the audio signal at that part of the channel path by pressing and holding the cell key down. Great for tuning out the hi-hat in the sidechain filter on the snare gate. You can name the channel and set the colour by pressing the first tab on the screen top. An on-screen keyboard pops up for you to enter the name and you can choose its colour from this palette. This is what is displayed on the LCD cell on the fader strip. Each channel has a source patch bay in the preamp screen. Here you can select the physical source for the channel such as an XLR preamp on the rear of the console or in the audio racks via the D-Snake or expander connections. Other surface connections such as RCAs or digital inputs from a multi-channel interface option card such as Ace or Dante can be chosen here too. If we select the XLR preamp, the analog gain, 20 dB pad and phantom power controls are displayed in the preamp section. Phantom power is engaged on the input by pressing and holding the key on screen. Front end gain is adjusted by using the pot on the channel strip or highlighting the gain control on the screen and using the encoder. Note, you can also adjust the setting via the global option on the fader strip rotary controls. This is handy if you want to handle a few channels simultaneously. Note that the polarity and digital trim are in the start of the channel path after the source patch bay. Once the front end gain is set to the source, you can opt to have the rotary controls adjust only the digital trim which has a range of plus and minus 24 dB in the channel path. This will not affect other equipment sharing the preamp signal split. The pop-up has a global option for this feature. There is a high-pass filter control on the strip and on screen you can read the cutoff point and adjust it using the encoder or dragging with your finger. The gate section shows the threshold point superimposed over the input channel signal. Depth is set on screen and as you adjust the threshold to below the channel level you will see the gain reduction LED light up on the strip. On screen you can fine tune the attack, release and hold parameters and you can also see a history of the gate action over time. The gate has a side chain filter which you can tune in by adjusting the low and high filter points. Press and hold the select key to hear the filter in isolation in your headphones or local monitor. Anytime you want to save the settings press store on the screen, enter a name and apply. This will now be available in the user library and can also be put on the USB key. To recall a library setting simply highlight it and touch recall. The parametric EQ has four bands. You sweep select the frequency using the upper rotary control and then adjust the boost or cut with the lower control. To adjust the Q setting for each band press and turn the frequency rotary. LED eyebrows give a guide to the settings while the on-screen display shows a graphical representation of the resultant EQ curve. There is an option on the pop-up to color fill the curves. You can adjust the EQ too by dragging the curve points or entering precise data in the value fields. Q range is 1.5 to 1 9th octave. The low and high band types can be selected to pass, bell or shelving types and there is a global option to enable a full range adjustment for the input and output EQ bands. Note, high pass filter is shown in the EQ window too. You can at any time copy, paste and reset any processing point by pressing and holding the function key whilst touching select. This is a great way to quickly set up a few channels with similar settings. Here we copy the EQ from channel 5 to other inputs. You can also copy and paste whole channels and, and between individual processing sections and whole channels. Note that pressing reset on a channel or section restores it to the default values. 
The compressor has two main controls, ratio and threshold. Again, the threshold point is displayed over the channel signal and the gain reduction LEDs will kick in as the threshold is reached. Makeup gain can be tweaked by pressing and turning the ratio encoder. On the touchscreen, you have additional controls for attack and release and the sidechain filter for frequency conscious response. And you also have two manual and two auto types of compressor in the drop down list. Of course, you can save your compressor setups to the user library and also copy and paste them into other channels. Once a channel is set up, you can also save the whole setup as a library item. You do this from the overview screen, just press library, store, name the file and press apply. This can now be recalled into other inputs. Note that the front end preamp setting recall is optional. Input channels have a line delay adjustable to 85 milliseconds. The pop-up allows you to choose the value to be displayed as milliseconds, meters, feet or samples. The touchscreen can also display a map of all the routing assignments and levels from each input channel. Press the routing button or tab and you can see under each tab that a channel is assigned on and off to a mix and also toggle pre and post fade sends. Set the direct output level and set the global source option from the drop down list. Assignments to the 16 DCA groups can also be seen and set up here too. 